Today, the Home Secretary, Suella Braverman, addressed the National Conservatism Conference and highlighted a potential fissure in the government. Her speech addressed the urgency to tackle record-breaking migration numbers, legal migration, the figures of which are expected to be published next week and are forecast to reach about 700,000 for the year. If the figure is 700,000, that would take all the 300,000 that the government has a target to build but doesn't actually manage to build. So where will these people live? And the Home Secretary is right. 700,000 for the year is double the pre-Brexit record, and this figure is not compatible with the clear mandate Conservatives have received repeatedly over the past 13 years. Remember David Cameron promising that he would get it down to the tens of thousands. Remember why some people voted for breakfast. Brexit. <laughs> the Prime Minister needs to listen to his Home Secretary. Because not to listen to her would be ignoring the British people. Listening to her is the British people's voice. To be in favour of controlled immigration is not an extreme position. It is extreme to be in favour of uncontrolled immigration. And speaking of extreme, a protester from Extinction Rebellion disrupted my speech as well and accused us of being fascists. Have a look at this. Well, we got in touch with the rather amiable protester who agreed to come on the show. All good so far. Extinction Rebellion then intervened and banned him from coming on. Clearly they're so to totalitarian, they lack any confidence in their own arguments, they wouldn't allow their own supporters to debate. And of course they won't stand for election anyway, just a few fanatics who like disrupting things. And they disrupted the Home Secretary later on. Anyway, the current rates of migration over the past 20 years are an aberration to our history. Tomorrow, ministers from the Department for Environment, Food and Rural Affairs will meet the Prime Minister, as well as horticultural industry leaders, to call for more immigration to ease the labour shortage. This is a bad fix to a long-term problem. The UK cannot be a low-wage fruit-picking economy. It needs to be a high-wage, high-skilled economy. We've been using the solution for decades now, and it doesn't work. We have millions of people out of work who could do these jobs. Using mass immigration to solve this problem only creates more long-term difficulties, and it has no democratic mandate. But of course, I want to know what you think, mailmog at gbnews.uk.